Now let's review the error handling activity two solution. This is on pages 41 to 43 of the activity guide. In the training account from the process library, I'm going to install dev error handling activity two solution. I'm sending it to the same folder so Atomsphere will create unique names for some of those components that are already in the folder by appending now uh, the number three. So to get started, I'm going to choose the database connection and the Salesforce connections. Now, here in our solution, we have a try catch that's going to catch all errors in the contact and account branches. The failure trigger here is document errors, and there's no retry count set. That's going to catch all types of downstream errors. We also have a notify shape that's going to use a profile field to format error messages. So here, coming from the try catch, we have the customer ID and then the base try catch message. The exception shape will ensure that the process execution is flagged as in error. Now, in the Salesforce operations, we've checked return application error responses. This way we can handle Salesforce connector errors. The decision shape will route application errors down a success equals false branch using the document property base of application status code. The false path is using a notify shape to format an error message uh, with that Salesforce error. And the false path ends with an exception shape. So this shape will halt document processing immediately and will route the document down the catch path for consistent error processing. We made one other change here, and that was to switch the upsert account and upsert contact. Uh, that will allow documents that fail in the account to halt immediately and not attempt with the contact update, which would fail. So we can run a test. All right, here's our error message. But let's take a look. So documents one and two, as before, are processing without errors. Here's document three, which is has an error here in the map shape. We're getting from the exception shape, that document failure, contact processing. And then for the fourth document, we can see here in the decision shape, invalid or null for restricted pick list. So this is being picked up in our notify shape. The account type is a bad value here for that field. So we're getting that here from the exception shape, which is then throwing that down here in the catch path of the try catch shape. So that's our solution. You can compare your solution to our version and read in the activity guide for a little bit more information about how this solution is configured.